Hi, my name is Jason Mercer, TREB's Director of Market Analysis. Let's take a few minutes to look at how the housing market performed in May, insofar as transactions reported through TREB's MLS system are concerned. Let's start with sales. Greater Toronto Area Realtors reported a record number of transactions for the month of May, with 11,706 deals reported. On a GTA-wide basis, sales were up on a year-over-year basis for the major home types. In the City of Toronto, we did see an annual dip in detached home sales, but this was more of a supply story. Due to the constrained supply of listings, some would-be home buyers simply could not find a home that met their needs. Now this listing supply situation in the GTA has not been limited just to the detached market segment. In many neighbourhoods, both in the City of Toronto and the surrounding regions, listings have been down compared to last year, particularly for low-rise home types like singles, semis and towns. While this year is shaping up to be a record year in terms of home sales, it is quite likely that we could have seen even more transactions but for this lack of inventory. Now, in many cases, the persistent lack of inventory over the last couple of years has resulted in a vicious circle, where homeowners interested in moving likely chose to renovate instead because they felt it would be very difficult to find another home. Now, competition between buyers continued to result in very strong price growth in May. The MLS Home Price Index Composite Benchmark was up by 8.9% year over year. The average selling price for all home types combined was up by 11% annually to $649,599. Now comparing these two price metrics tells an interesting story. The MLS HPI uses benchmark homes with which to estimate price growth. This allows for an apples to apples comparison of price growth that is not affected by changes in the mix of home sales from one year to the next. Conversely, the average selling price takes into account all transactions. The fact that annual price growth in the average price outstripped annual growth for the MLS HPI tells us that the proportion of high-end home sales continued to be greater in May 2015 compared to 2014. This is a trend that has been noted throughout the first five months of the year. Now, tight market conditions, especially for singles, semis, and townhomes in the GTA, have resulted in strong price growth, regardless of the price metric being considered. So looking forward, with no relief so far on the listings front, we expect similar rates of price growth as we move through the remainder of 2015. So that completes our market summary for another month. I look forward to speaking with you again soon. Thanks very much. Brought to you by GTA Realtors.